First thing I'm gonna be making is Oreo balls. What the hell? Yeah. Coming to you live from my holiday party. Look at all these tarot cards. The angels bring you this card because you're- What does that mean? <laughs> what the heck? I'm sending Sissy off to Asheville. I keep calling Yeah, I keep calling it Nashville. It's 7.58 in the morning. This is something else for me. I haven't gotten up this early since school. Good morning, guys. It's December 21st, and let me just take you outside real quick. Barely snowed last night. You can tell it's really early because the sun's just rising. The reason why I got up this early is because I wanted to start on um, some of the treats I'm going to be making for my holiday party. Um, so... So the first thing I'm going to be making is Oreo balls and I just want to get that in the fridge and then I'll get ready for the gym. So first, so the recipe called for just like a pack of Oreos, 8 ounce cream cheese and that's pretty much it for the balls part and then on top of it you just drizzle like any chocolate you put on any toppings you want so I got white chocolate and I got milk chocolate. It says that the cream cheese should be at room temperature but we ain't got time for that, so I think I'm gonna put it in the microwave. I'm just gonna like plop it on some parchment paper. And then of course you need some Oreos, so I just got the regular ones. And I was gonna use this food processor, but I literally can't. I don't understand how it works. Yeah, we, we just don't know how to work it. So we're gonna go old school with a gallon plastic bag and just mash it up on our own. And honestly, I watched a couple videos and I don't think they really food processed it because like there was some like bigger chunks. So I put the cream cheese in the microwave for a little bit because it was still too cold. Probably just put it in there for 15 seconds. I did it a little more than that and it's like, it's too hot so I think I need to let it cool. And then I'm just gonna plop it in there and mix it around. So the last thing is to just stick them in the fridge and you're good to go. I'm gonna go to the gym and then come back and put chocolate on the top. I honestly didn't think it would take that long. I thought I would have a lot more time to get ready and like be there at nine, but I'll probably like leave here at nine. It looks so pretty out here, but my sh windshield needs to thaw out. <laughs> Trying to be hipster. You ready to gym? Gym tan laundry? So I just got out of the gym. I took a shower there. I just like don't like waiting to go home and then taking a shower. But today I think I'm going to blow out my hair or attempt to blow out my hair. I totally forgot to bring like a lot of my hair products for example like my heat protectant totally forgot about that even though i don't use it often i still like to put a little bit so i'm going to blow dry my hair and i'm probably just going to use this and give me a little bit of volume hopefully some curls at the end i kind of like that but i've always wanted to go to the dry just to learn how they blow dry people's hair because it always looks so good whenever i see people like get their hair done from them so I really want to go and plus we have like so many in Atlanta and super close to my house I actually I have one in the Avalon so maybe I'll try it out one day probably not anytime soon I feel like I would only get it done for an event though because like what else do I do like just sit around at home like with my like blown out hair I don't think so So I finished this side of my hair. I just have just this chunk of hair to do. It will probably take me like 10 minutes and then I'll be done. I kind of like the flicks at the end so I gave it like a lot of dramatic like little curl. The first layer was super frizzy so I put some of this argan oil on it. I just got it at CVS. It's um, let's see, Peter Coppola argan oil. It's like the first argan oil I ever bought. So I always use it. I just finished my blow drying and this is what it looks like. I don't know, I kind of wanted it a little bit more curly, but since my hair is so long, I honestly don't even know if that's possible. 
So I was going to melt the chocolate and my microwave started like literally convulsing. Like I don't even know what happened. I don't know why it's doing that. But I'm like actually really freaked out and also really annoyed because what am I going to do to melt the chocolate now? I mean, I could do it over the stove, but I really don't want to because I feel like I burn it so easily. So I'm going to put this in here. Try it again. It like actually scared me so bad. thought it was going to catch on fire, but I tried to unplug it. So maybe, let's see. Okay. I recycled it. Let's see if this... What the hell? Do you see that? Like, what the hell? So I just turned my oven on and put the bowl in there and just like melted the chocolate. I don't know why my microwave's doing that, but like it sucks because I actually wanted to pop popcorn and like drizzle chocolate on that. So it's really annoying. But now I'm going to cut a super, super tiny hole because I want it to be really precise. I think I... Okay, it's coming out. <laughs> So I'm just gonna drizzle it on top. And I'm just gonna repeat the step with white chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Last thing I'm gonna do is add some holiday sprinkles. So I might use these ones or these ones. I don't like the little sugar ones, so. I found Jamaican patties in the freezer, so I cooked it up really quick. Me and my dad used to go to this one Jamaican restaurant, and we would get patties and have ginger beer. And ginger beer is, like, not alcoholic. It's just, like, like a soda type. It's, like, kind of weird. You have to, like, have an acquired taste for it. But it's so good, and I'm, like, craving it. It's such a good pair. Like, the patties and the ginger beer. Oh. I just finished filming. Well, actually, not just yet. I need this SD card, but I thought I would update you guys. I did this look for a holiday look type thing, and I'm wearing Kat Von D's Project Chimps. I don't even know if that's like, it just like looks really crumpled, so I barely can read it. I feel like it matches my sweater perfectly. I have to finish filming the intro for this video, and then I think I'm done. Yay, okay, I'm done filming. I literally don't even know what time it is. I feel like when I film, I'm just in my own little world. Oh, I need to th take my thumbnail for my high keys. I have to upload a vlog and it was the one where I unboxed my high keys. So I think I'm gonna take a thumbnail really quick for this also. <laughs> Coming to you live from my holiday party. It's cute. It's so what'd cute. you bring? I brought meatballs. Oh, I need a spoon. <laughs> okay, what'd you bring? I brought a buffalo chicken dip. What'd you bring? You brought mac and cheese with breadcrumbs on top. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cookies. Jewish cookies. And I got my Oreo balls. Should I take them out now or? Whoa. Yummy food. Chloe's brother brought a veggie tray and Cards Against Humanities. And did he bring the tarot cards? Yay. Look at all these tarot cards. Maddie's gonna read my tarot or whatever it's called. She's like a pro. Okay, so what do we do now? Um, you gotta hold for a minute and then I'll take them back and then I'll do it. Oh. Okay. What am I doing? Do you have like a question? Do you want me to do past, present, future? I don't even, I've never done it before. Can we do, I'll just do a multiple? Yeah, we can do multiple. Okay, can, yeah, we'll just start uh, off with yeah, that. I'll start off, I'll do a past, present, future. Okay. First card I have to pull is going to be past. Second card okay. is like present okay. and future. Past can be anything from 10 minutes ago to That's six weird. months ago. Yeah. Um, present can be, it's generally just a general overview of whatever's happening with you right now and then future can be anything from tomorrow to 10 years from now that's weird okay most of most of the time they're generally soon yeah i'm scared <laughs> i've always wanted to do this though this is my past this is present <laughs> Speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. Future, the dreamer, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. I, I can 
already see that one. Right. I don't know about these ones though. The angels bring you this card because you're entering a new and exciting phase in your life. It's important that you believe in yourself and know that the benevolent universe wants you to succeed. Now is the time for faith and commitment to your dreams. Take any necessary steps to move forward with confidence. <laughs> Fresh Katie. <laughs> Listen to your own inner guidance about following your dreams, but be open to information from others regarding the detailed steps to take. You may need additional input or guidance from an expert before proceeding, but don't let this stall your forward movement. Act actively seek the insight you need. That was the one. I'm excited for that one. 20 something cards? 30 something? Wait, no. Just kidding. 78 cards? Dang. Damn. That does, there's, literally, there's probably only three that mean the same thing. That's weird. What does that mean? <laughs> what the heck? You need to open your ears, girl. Well, no, apparently we have a nest that, in there. There's a nest up there. <laughs> How are we supposed to get it out, Margaret? <laughs> Margaret's scared of birds. I'm going to have to get up there. <laughs> Call Ryan. <right in. laughs> hey, yeah, you can get in your eyes and like pick your eyes out. Okay, so just keep your eyes shut. Yeah, but that makes a lot of sense. Oh, <laughs> It is time. Are we keeping our cards or are we putting them back in? Yeah, just keep I mean love more, I just know